Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Uh... Fuck! We're trapped! <laughs> ah! no! 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 like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We oh, don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Oh, Worse, hey, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? No, I'm blind as fuck. What is it? I... I have to pee. Go then. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just uh, ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. I don't know what to say, so I just... Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can yeah. see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Yes, Holy son. shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Are you fucking Over my serious? dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, oh stop him! We, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm fuck down. We care. kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone chill the fuck out! I'm Nobody is doing so anything. Up shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Lee, stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh, I'm upsetting him! Sorry. Upsetting is getting eaten alive! Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. I it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in yeah, here. We know. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way! Thank yeah, you. with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, cat! Just worry about Duck. I will kill Lee! Him. I'll help you. Yeah? There's someone in there! It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. Daughter She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she Good does, time. the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh, oh man. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You okay? I'm fine. Just great, thanks. I'm fine. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! I gotta get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Shut up. Uh, uh, uh. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Oh, I know. So the office would have... There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. Well, you can't say educated guess. We no, need no, nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Sure thing. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got, got it. it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. I don't remember them very well. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Sure. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. 
You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? It's about honesty, this game. They, uh, own this place. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Yeah. Sure. What's up? What's up? Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. I'm yeah, the same I thing. think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Yeah. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. I'll be needing batteries. Try turning off and turn on again. Try pressing the power. <sighs> Nothing. Hello. 
There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Beats too. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Batteries. Perfectly. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Yep. Have seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Right now. All right. Yeah. Let me know if you want to. We'll do so. Right, last people. Try to get some rest, Hunter. How can I with those things out there? How's he doing? I'm not sure. I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. He don't like me when he I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Shit. A couple of bodies yeah, a couple I'm of bodies. fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Oh, that was the parents. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more more of them i mean jesus we need to stick together and get through this he's got a temper ah fuck you yeah he doesn't mean it it's just that yeah we've got kids here family he and i are a family i'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that hell well, it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Thank you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. I 
can't. I can't think about them in here. This door leads to the back alley. First aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Cool, was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Yes. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Can we move it? We can. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Those eyes. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. He doesn't want to talk, that's why. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Yes, I agree with that one. <laughs> Ow! Ooh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Where's that first aid kit? Bound to be one in there. Search first aid kit. Ah, yee! And snapped. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Yeah, like bandage it up. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Alright. Right now. Right, right. I thought it was bleeding from his finger now. That's what it looked like. Lee? Uh, yeah? 
What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Am I battery in? We need a battery. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Yep. Open it. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Where would the keys be though? That's the question. Find anything? Yeah. It's a photo of the family who own this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Hey, You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Wait, Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh... The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. <laughs> Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. True. She does have a point. Uh, well, Tans came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. That's what I figured. Well, at least you know I have batteries. It's a good thing. Send back out as soon as we get ready. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Oh. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Say so, yeah. I agree with Let's come back. Right. Let's go find Carney and give This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Uh, I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks, I appreciate it. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? 
Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies, and you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Should I go and get to save Glenn because he's got some supplies for us? I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Twice. Right. Hey, Carly. We're doing, uh... You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. Okay, no way. To. We gotta go. Now! Listen, no, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, it's I heard crying me. coming from inside. Survivors. Who is it? Nice. It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn okay. right we can. Oh, come you on. guys are suicidal. Over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Let's have a look around. 